hello everyone welcome back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to do object detection in react native's new architecture uh, using media pipe without any third party library so firstly i want to tell you that i will be copying a lot of code so i will be making use of turbo modules and at the time of this recording the react native folks have decided to remove this uh, documentation from their react native repo and they have put it inside this github repo but at the time of you watching this video it might be back in the uh, react native documentation itself so in case if you are not able to find you can go to this github repo as well that's one thing next for object detection we are using media pipe so you will have to go to this url and you can download any of this uh, models whichever makes sense to you like each model has its pros and cons some are performance uh, and accuracy specific some will increase your app size so you choose whatever makes sense to you you can play around with it a bit next uh, create a react native uh, application so i'll just close this for now uh, next uh, once you create the react native application uh, you will first have to create this folder called RT and my picker again I will be copying a lot of code from the documentation which I have showed, showed you so first create this file called package.json so everything has been copied from docs only this name has been changed this has been changed uh, this has been changed and this has been changed. sorry I forgot to show you guys the output so first I'll show you the output so here I have one button called pick image once I click on it it opens the photos app and here you can select one object and it as you can see it was able to detect it was a cup similarly for android as well if i click on a button it opens the photos app and from that i will select one photo and it will able to um, detect that particular uh, image so yeah so first you create this package.json next you will have to create this pod spec file again i have copied it from docs only this name has been changed next go to j create a js folder inside that create a typescript file again copied it from docs only this method has been changed and this name has been changed next create an android folder inside that create a build.gradle file again i have copied it from the docs uh, only change which i have made is this compile sdk version is 34 and i am using kotlin standard lib 1.9.0 and this namespace has been changed next uh, you will have to go to src uh, main java com rt and my picker and here you will have to create a file called my picker package.kt and again i have copied it from docs only uh, this name changes this changes uh, this this and this changes everything else remains the same next i have created my picker module.kt again i have copied it from docs now here i am using a hack i am asking it for the internet permission the reason why i am using a hack because uh, there is a new API called register for activity result in native Android development and that can be only be used from an activity you cannot use it from a term order so what hack I am using is that I am asking for internet permission I know you don't need to explicitly ask for internet permission but as soon as I call this it moves the callback to the main activity so that's what is that's why I'm doing this and ag again this has been copied from docs this has been copied and here i'm just requesting for internet per here also names has been changed everything else is copied from docs okay so as soon as the callback goes to main activity go to android first go to build.grid and make sure you update kotlin to 1.9.0 next go to app build.grid and here you will have to update main sdk version to 24 and here also have to add this task vision dependency and lifecycle runtime dependency to make use of coroutines next go to src main assets and here inside assets you will have to drag and drop the tf light model which we have downloaded next go to java main activity.kt you can copy all the imports if you want to but here you can see I'm, i have done the same internet permission thing and as soon as the turbo module thing is called the callback comes over here so once the permission is granted which is by default for internet i am just launching our photos app so the mime type is image slash star and this is just a helpful method to check permission was granted or not now over here i have done few other things as well i have defined the object detector uh, builder uh, function as well and this name should be the same whatever you have defined inside the assets folder and here i have created one variable for object detector as well which i am initializing inside the onCreate method okay next once the photo picker is launched 
and user selects a photo so this method i was talking about cannot be used inside turbo models that's why i had to use a hack next you will get a uri and from that uri i am converting it to a bitmap next i am converting the bitmap to an mp image then we pass the mp image to the detect method of object detector and then we pass the classification results here i have created a react context which will help us to uh, send data from native android side to react native side and if the result is not equal to empty i'm getting the detections and if it is not equal to empty i'm getting the categories and if that data is also not equal to empty i'm just sending it back to the uh, react native side okay and in case of no data i'm just sending no data no data and no data okay next uh, all right this is done next i'll go to uh, you will have to open your terminal uh, also to enable the new architecture one thing which i forgot you will have to search for new arc enabled inside gradle dot properties and have to make this as true for android next uh, go to ios don't run the android project till yet go to pod file and here you add this pod dependency as well don't run pod install uh, then you will have to run uh, this bit of code so you will have to cd open your terminal cd to your ios directory and then run this uh, command so this will do the pod install as well as it will enable new architecture for ios as well then you will have to again do cd dot dot that is come to the root of your react native project and then run this command once you do that you will again have to do cd dot dot it will move you outside your react native project then you will have to run this command but here instead of rn app you will have to write your own project name so my as you can see my project name is rn app over here over here as well as over here uh, next you will have to cd to the main android folder and you will have to run this command this will do code generation for android and again for cd to ios and then run this command so this will do code generation for ios as well now you can try to run it for android uh, okay sorry before that how to use it so here i have imported our rtn my picker i have used a uh, state of text and this is how i am listening it for android so as soon as the user picks an image the object has been classified here i will get the data this is how you do it for ios so again same thing once the object is classified i get back the data here i have just defined one touchable opacity for i'm calling pick image and here i'm just displaying our text inside the text component all right next is ios so i'll just open the ios folder inside xcode first you will have to drag and drop your tf light model and make sure this target membership is checked next you will also have to update the ios deployment target to 14 as well as over here next uh, is you will have to create a swift file called my picker xcode will ask do you want to create a bridging header say yes click yes and inside the bridging header you will have to import this event emitter file which will we which will uh, we create shortly uh, inside info.plist also add this photo library usage description permission next inside event create a header file objective c header file uh, and here you will have to add this uh, bit of code like this is basically used to send uh, data from native ios side to react native side and for implementation you will have to create an objective c file and again i have just copy pasted this code from stack overflow even i don't know objective c next you will have to create an header file of rt and my picker again i have copied it from docs only this names has been changed uh, as well as this native my picker rt and my picker ns object next i have created an objective c file as well uh, obje so obje create objective c file but make sure you change the extension to dot mm and again uh, this has been copied from docs this should be your own project name as you can see my project name is rn app so make sure you replace it here we are initializing our swift file again this has been copied from docs only this name has been changed and once the pick image method is called i am calling the pick image of our swift file now if you go to the swift file i am importing photos and photos you as well as media pipe task vision uh, and here i am extending php curve view controller delegate i am initializing object detector options as well as object detector 
and here I am loading our model asset again this name should be the same whatever is name of your TF flight model then we are getting our path we are initializing our object detector and once peak image method is called we are just uh, checking for permission of photos app if not then we are asking for permission if already given then we are just calling peak photo once peak photo is called we are calling ph picker configuration and uh, we are just uh, displaying those uh, photos app to the user so that that's what this code does once the user picks an image the callback comes over here and we dismiss the photo pickers we convert it to to a ui image then ui image is converted to an mp image then we call detect method for object detector and then here we just call result dot detection and if the result is not equal to empty we get the category name and uh, we just uh, send it back to the react native side so yeah i think that's it uh, now you can run ios as well thank you for watching bye